Hello and welcome to Auto Shenanigans. How the devil are you? Have you had a good week? My name is John. Thank you very much for joining me for another exciting episode of Secrets of the Motorway. In today's episode, we'll be exploring the M73 motorway. Whilst it's short in length at seven miles, it provides an important link between the M74, M8 and M80 motorways, allowing traffic to bypass the eastern side of Glasgow. The M73 is one of Scotland's older motorways with construction starting in 1969. The first section opened in 1971, running between Maryville and Baileyston, with a second section opening in 1972 that would take the M73 up to Mullinsburn. Initially, there were three junctions if you include the Maryville interchange, and the M73 would remain mostly unchanged for over 20 years. We'll be looking at what did change a little bit later on. For now, of course, we'll be starting at Junction 1, also known as the Maryville interchange. It's here we find the start of the M73 at an interchange with the M74. When the interchange was constructed in the late 60s, it had a slightly different layout due to the installation of a temporary loop slip road coming off the M74. This temporary measure would remain in place until the mid-90s, when the interchange would see a slight rearrangement with some of the slip roads being moved around. However, as far as the M73 is concerned, the interchange remains mostly the same as its original layout. An interesting feature to note is the two-layer bridge that carries the M73 slip roads over the M74. A short distance up from the interchange and the motorway crosses over North Calder Water on a viaduct. Whilst it's not the largest viaduct, one website claims it to be one of the most impressive steel box girder structures in the entirety of Scotland. And of course, naturally, I had to come and see it for myself. Here it is, some bridge. Next up is Junction 2, or the Baileyston Interchange. Here, the M73 meets the M8 motorway at a roundabout style junction, with a load of slip roads bolted on at random, it would seem. It's the only four-level interchange you'll find across the Scottish motorway network, and arguably is one of the most complex. When it first opened as part of the M73 in 1971, the M8 motorway didn't exist, so instead we'd have found a simple diamond-style junction linking the motorway to the A8. This would all change in 1979, when construction started on the massive Baileyston interchange, which would see the M8 connected up to the M73. This saw the addition of free-flowing slip roads, most notably the M8 to M73 east-south slip road, which goes over the entire interchange. Further changes would be made to the interchange in the mid-2010s. The M8 motorway was extended to the east through the interchange, which saw some considerable realignment to the existing A8, and it also saw the construction of the A8M, the UK's shortest motorway. Junction 2A is the next one along, and its number might give away the fact that it wasn't part of the motorway's original construction. It opened in 1999, and I believe they built it in preparation for the regeneration of Garkosh. Just off the junction is the site of the former Garkosh Steel and Iron Works. It was in operation between 1865 and 1985, and during the 1960s it saw massive expansion with the addition of railway sidings, new engine sheds and new buildings. Closure of the works would be announced in 1985 due to the need of a £20 million investment in order for the site to remain competitive. An investment nobody was prepared to give. The closure in the 1980s left many with the view that the then Thatcher government couldn't give a shit about Scotland. And amongst other reasons, this led to Scotland increasing its desire to operate under its own parliament. The works sat abandoned for several years, but as I mentioned, the area is seeing some level of regeneration, with a new college being built on site along with a new industrial park and of course some new connecting roads. There are plans to install over 3,000 houses along with other commercial units in the area, so perhaps it's just as well they installed the motorway junction first. Interestingly though, during the planning phase of the M73, Lanark County Council did put forward proposals for a junction to be built at Carcosh. However, at the time it was deemed unnecessary, so it wasn't built. Between junctions 2A and 3, the motorway passes over Drum Cable Road, and if you keep an eye out to your left, you might spot the abandoned stone and sand quarry that sits right next to the motorway. It's not exactly clear when the quarry opened, but I believe it was sometime around the 1880s. It was served by its own railway siding that linked to the Monkland and Kirk Interlock Railway. On the same rail connection was Bedleigh Colliery, which you'll find further along Drumcable Road. This colliery provided coking coal for the nearby Gartsherry Ironworks and later the Ravenscraig Steelworks following its modernisation. The M73 would sever the railway's connection when it was constructed, and today there's nothing left of the colliery or the steelworks. Junction 3 is where we find the end of the M73. Well, we did until a small extension was added in 2011. Until this point, the motorway would simply have merged via a set of slip roads with the A80. Because it was a fairly recent change, we can look back at historical satellite images and see how the motorway used to look before the changes were made. What's missing here is the M80 motorway, and it would be the construction of the M80 that would lead to the layout we see today. During the M80's construction, the M73 was extended slightly to merge with the M80, taking it away from its original ending point with the A80, which was realigned anyway. The M73 had slip roads added to create Junction 3 and now ends further up where it meets the M80. 
And there we are then guys, that's all for this week. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you did, there is of course a button specifically for that. And if you haven't subscribed already, please consider doing so. That'd be wicked sweet awesome. Enjoy the rest of your week, whatever it is you get up to. My name's John, you've been watching Auto Shenanigans and I'll see you next time for another exciting episode of Secrets of the Motorway. Until then, take care, bye bye. Caledonia's been everything I've ever had.